comes the game. The COO of WWE, but also a man who is absolutely dominant inside that ring. Something tells me we're about to see what's best for business. The following is a championship tournament semi-finals match. Making his way to the ring from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the game, Triple H. It's all about the game and how you play it, and nobody plays it better than Triple H. Oh, the cerebral assassin. An unbelievable talent in the ring. The sadistic son-in-law of the chairman of WWE. The creator of the pedigree, a truly devastating move. Yeah, and he's mastered how, when, and where to utilize it. Yeah, the pedigree almost always guarantees the end for Triple H's opponent. I guarantee Triple H already has plans on when to use it tonight. The age of Alexander continues. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. A man with C4 in his hands, rocket launchers in his legs, a truly dynamic competitor. He first turned heads as a cruiserweight, hit another gear in the Hurt Business, and now he's on the rise. Yeah, Cedric Alexander is a very accomplished competitor and won't hesitate to go after anyone. He needs a high level of execution against the game. You're right, there is zero room for error. He must wrestle a perfect match. And of all the possible matchups in this tournament, I'd say we've got one of the best in front of us right now. Look, I'll admit I've had my fingers crossed it would work out this way. This one has real show-stealing potential. DDT! Counters! What a shot! Hooked up. Ah, oh, shin breaker! Intimidation, part of what makes Triple H the cerebral assassin. Ooh, merciless looking blow. He may be in a bad way here. Well, we're deep into this tournament match. This is where things get serious. No, oh, not pretty. In a no disqualification match, you never want to be the superstar on the wrong end of a chair or a kendo stick or whatever else might be hiding under the ring. You want to be the one inflicting that punishment because that's how you control the pace and the match as a whole. Got it. Like that sledgehammer can cost. This could do it! That win took everything they had. And then some. The Queen City's favorite son will never break through if he keeps collecting losses.
The title collector is here. The following champion versus champion contest is a championship tournament semi-finals match. Making his way to the ring, representing the family from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 600 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Brad, AK-47. Imagine all the hard work, the training, and the perseverance it takes to win a title in WWE. Now double it, and you can see the magnitude of this man's accomplishment. In WWE, the only thing more difficult than becoming champion is staying champion. And his journey was twice as hard, but the work from here is double too. But if anyone is up to the challenge, it's this guy. You talk about standing at the top of the mountain, this guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. Gentlemen, the million dollar man is living, breathing proof. Greed is good. From Palm Beach, Florida, weighing in at 260 pounds, the million dollar champion, the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. Well, be on high alert because the results of this match might be a little fishy. I wouldn't be surprised if the million dollar man paid off the referee. Oh, Saxon, I happen to have a handful of Benjamins that say that you're lying. An all-time great in the ring, being rich is a bonus to DiBiase. Yeah, but listen, Michael, we all know money doesn't buy everything. Yeah, but it does buy most of the good stuff. As the Million Dollar Man always says, everybody has a price. And the bell rings for semifinals action. It's crunch time now, gentlemen. The end is in sight. DiBiase wards that attack off. Set him up, Russian leg sweep. He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, this is the type of damage that is going to really build in a tournament setting like this. He's stretching oh. out the knee. A lot of damage being done here. Oof. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Elbow drop. Piercing. That gets reversed on DiBiase. And now in the most dangerous area inside the cell. I don't care what they say. Nothing good ever comes from getting the tables. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. Oof. Coming back in the ring. Into the corner now. Things went from bad to worse. Out of the ring and into hell itself. Call Hunter's secretary. Tell him we found the hammer. Oh. Makes him pay with a counter. Neck breaker excellently executed. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. And that was a first-hand example of a dirty attack. A million dollar man's killer instinct really shined through there. DiBiase's been an aggressive throughout this match, and that's still the case this late in the game. 
Byron, is it possible to stay one step ahead of your opponent in a match as horrific as Hell in a Cell? Oh, it could come down to the first superstar that can turn that switch and battle on pure instinct because a strategy could be lost and all you have left is the ability to fight. And that can happen quickly in an environment where cruelty is rewarded for having no bounds. Ah, uh, shoulder right to the knee. He thinks he has it! Gets the win in a brutal Hell in a Cell match. And he goes Here's right your win. through the cell. He's done. He finished 47. I can't imagine a world in which they're not proud of that win. This will not stand. DiBiase didn't lose. That's not even the real referee. It's his twin. Would you calm down? The COO of WWE, but also a man who is absolutely dominant inside that ring. Something tells me we're about to see what's best for business. The following contest is the final in the championship tournament. Making his way to the ring from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds. The game, Triple H. Only three men with double-digit WrestleMania wins, Undertaker, Cena, and this man. Triple H has defeated Booker T, Randy Orton, and Batista at WrestleMania. Yeah, get this, second only to Hulk Hogan in main event show closing WrestleMania matches. Because on this stage is where Triple H is his most cerebral, his most brutal at the showcase of Immortals. Well, the intimidation and mind games have already begun for Triple H. Because the moment the music hits, Triple H begins to defend his kingdom. Well, that's because Triple H looks at every competitor as a threat to his crown. We are about to see a battle here tonight. Make way for the double champ. And his opponent, representing the family from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 600 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Brad, AK 47. Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. 
Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. Here's what you're dealing with when you're facing Triple H. Not only can the game punish you with mental power, but physical power as well. And that's going to be a lot for him to contend with. Tournament action underway, and Corey, the bracket is starting to take shape. These superstars have weathered the early storm, and now it's time for them to start digging deep. This is where you separate the contenders from the pretenders. That is something else. Up landing. Ooh. Look what he's got here. Oh, down by the DDT. The game firing up. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. And the arm drag. Close line. Flat out power. Wow. A deadlift military press. Holy moly. A slam. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. This is terrifying. This is superhuman power. We are seeing gut wreck suplex. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Triple H is always thinking out there, always a couple steps ahead of his opponents. I can't imagine a world in which that's not the case here tonight. I expect we'll see the very best of the Cerebral Assassin here tonight, Corey. Oh, diving leg drop. Triple here he goes for the win. And the victory. Here is your winner, Brad, AK-47. This was a truly spectacular win. Oh, man, I would not want to be in the boardroom with Triple H after a loss like this. The following is a no holds barred match and is for the WWE Super Heavyweight Championship. Make way for the double champ. Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks.
Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. The double champ showing off all of his hardware. Arrogance and confidence on the double champ's face, but he's obviously earned it. Make way for the double champ. Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. You talk about standing at the top of the mountain, this guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. Introducing the challenger from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 600 pounds, Brad, AK 47. F. And his opponent from Dallas, Texas, weighing in at 295 pounds, he is the WWE Super Heavyweight Champion, Matt the All. Pain. Looking at the champion, I guarantee there is no doubt in their mind as to who is leaving this match with the title around their waist. Big fight feel. History can be made here tonight. Opportunity is knocking for one competitor to remain the benchmark or for another competitor to change the whole landscape of this place. Oh, that was pretty cool. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right to the face. My God. Ooh, vicious kick to the spine. Punch connects. Headlock. What are they doing here? Into a headstand? Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. He's falling victim here to a charge of attacks. Yeah, and he keeps struggling to slow the opposition down. Somebody stop this competitor. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Boom, right across the small of the back. To the back of the neck. Hammer lock. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Armbreaker. Oh. He moved, but can he capitalize? 
He's returning fire. A oh, full speed using their body as a weapon. Able to get out of the way. What kind of headspace do you need to be successful in a no disqualification match? A ruthless one, Cole. You can't show any remorse about going after your opponent full force. Anytime you waste second guessing yourself, it's time for your opponent to get their hands on a weapon. From the top, through the air, it connects. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. And he slides him back to the mat. Ah, look at this. An arm breaker. He's definitely being the aggressor here. He's in non-stop attack mode. Good grief, man. This is vicious. Uh-oh. Look out. Boom. Ah. Boom. What an uppercut. Look at this. Incredible. Ah. The I guess he's thinking something else here. He's clearly not thinking about winning. Moves outside. What's the plan here? He's about to make this more chaotic than the Battle of the Hudson. He's heading back to the ring. Oh! He just isn't being given any room to recuperate. Yeah, it's to pull out some form of offense here. And he barely evades. from the challenger's playbook, but it did not produce the desired result for the champ. Throwing everything in the kitchen sink in there, but to no avail. Not the position you want to be in right now. Driven down face first. Whoa, not quite yet. Check to the gut. Oh, what a right! back with a counter. Able to elude it. He's channeling the crowd's energy. He leaves the ring and there's no count outs in this one. Thrown back in under the ropes. Heads out of the ring. What's next? The springboard attack fails to land. I think we know what's coming next. What impact! Right in the kisser. Oh, my goodness. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Oh, and these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. He avoids the damage. Boom, impact. Uh-oh, clearing off the announce table. Oh, this is a got, about to go from bad to worse. This is not going to be pretty. I don't want to see this happen. Finds the table, and guys, I do not see the table being long for this world. Kick to the gut. Oh, what a right! Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Well, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. Quick return to the ring. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve a dinner party. We got to hold it. Oh, my God, no, that's too far. It's always disorienting taking those hits above the shoulders. There it is. An Arabian press. 
That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. He's just dominating at this point. We are looking at an unyielding attack from him. This Hell's is bad. Game. This is real bad. He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> My goodness. That tape. Been attempt for the championship. And the champ gets free and won. There is no quit in this man tonight. This is a way to incapacitate every inch of your opponent slowly, methodically, and painfully. To the outside. This could get wild. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Uppercut. Jordan. You can begin to see it in these superstars' faces. Exhaustion is... He's trying again. Oh, my! The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Two. He manages to kick out. What strength. And look at the disbelief on the face of the champion. They both know what's at stake. Neither competitor is going to lose easy here. And it's going to take composure now. Could just need one more big move. He's one step ahead there. Vicious right hand, just brutalizing their opponent. Watch this breathtaking athleticism into the prettiest moonsault ever. Has them hooked. Throwing cutter. The champ has this one in hand now. Two. That's it. The champ stays the champ. Here is your winner, and still, WWE Super Heavyweight Champion, Matt the All-American Payne. Ended this match with a big win under his belt. This win tonight may have been a career-defining moment. They're definitely celebrating like it was.